Hi, I'm Tommy C. The shot for the point news. Breaking news just within the last hour or so. It appears that Beauty Pie, either accidentally or deliberately, is being shadow banned. Uh, he put out a statement a little while ago. Yo, for some reason, my videos aren't showing up in Subbox since yesterday, since posting here. This called compliments of Def Noodles at Def Noodles on Twitter. Uh, he also broke that uh, breaking news that will most definitely change your life. PewDiePie may have been shadow banned by YouTube. He has n he no longer appears in search, and only one of his videos appears in the top search results. His latest video got 34k views, 1k comments, 1. Point uh, 4.8 likes in one hour and yeah if you're having a new channel that's blowing up that sounds like great numbers but those aren't PewDiePie numbers Verse, are you uh, you're seeing much the same thing when you do searches yeah so I didn't use an incognito window I used my main YouTube account that I use for everything and it YouTube search his profile doesn't show up it brings up a Minecraft video from about two years ago uh, the last notification I got from him was an Among Us video from two or three days ago. His video that he posted an hour ago didn't pop in my Sidbex at all, and I have all the notifications enabled. Yeah, I, I find this weird. I mean, I wonder if it's just this video alone. Uh, I, I'm subbed in Belt, and admittingly, I do not watch everything he puts out. Usually it's when he's doing the, the, uh, the, the meme review, stuff like that. It was, uh, certain types of content. I'll check out. So I'm not going to sit there and pretend that I'm the biggest PewDiePie fan, but I almost thought that he was on vacation. And since he's not on Twitter anymore, I thought to myself that, you know, like, uh, I don't know, like well, maybe he was losing prop popularity. Um, do you think this is a, well, I, I think no matter what happens, this is going to be, we made a mistake. Uh, you think that'll be, <laughs> this, this yeah, I, don't, the, I don't think they're ever going yeah. to, fault at all the one thing that we always got to remember too uh is that sometimes if you stop viewing a channel even no matter what your your sub notification settings are mm -hmm. they'll actually nudge it out of your notification no. tab just because you haven't been watching it so they'll suppress it so it'll seem like you know someone you've been watching let's say like you used to watch like c nanners or something and all of a sudden he just stops appearing in your feed because you stop watching him Mm -hmm. They'll do that sometimes. I know they have done that, and that's kind of fucked because oh. you'll you'll wonder where these people's videos are and just will phase out of existence. But well, but but given how many people are subbed to him, 107 million, and everyone seems to be having this issue, it doesn't seem to be that kind of problem. It's just <sighs> they legit just shut them off. Yeah. Well, I, I guess we could get into the uh, conspiracy theories about it, and I'll just uh, go right to this. Um, he uh, is not controlled by Hollywood. He's his own man. Uh, he notably made a, they made a big deal when he had Ben Shapiro on. He followed and communicate with Sargon of Akkad, who is a right leading uh, personality on YouTube back in 2017 uh, when his first controversy broke. Uh, he is no longer in a YouTube Rewind, even though he's the biggest guy on the platform. I think if the uh, the odds I think of this are overwhelming. They are terrified that he will say, look at my country, look what they've done to free speech, look at transgender issues in this country, look at the way it behaves. If you want this, vote for Joe Biden. And first of all, that would break the internet if he said that. Now, I don't believe after the Christchurch incident, especially, that he would ever say that. I think he's... He was never really in the political realm. I think he just took some interest in it back in 2016, 17, when a lot of people were taking interest in, in anti-SJW type stuff. Um, I don't necessarily think it's because you have Ben Shapiro on makes you an arch Buckley conservative. But if I had to guess, and due to the suppression of the New York Post story, this is YouTube doing their part because they are terrified of one of their celebrities speaking out for Trump. Uh, but the odds of this, I don't think, I, the odds of it happening, I, I think are slim or none. And I got to be honest with you, the guy, the kind of people don't have a problem with shadow banning and suppressing and, and, and crushing divergent opinion, put an awful lot of value in my experience, this is opinion, let me make that clear, in celebrities speaking out about politics. There is no bigger guy in the platform. Yes, there's somebody that's more subbed, but there's no personality with more influence uh, if this is not a mistake, and that's a big if, that's a weird, 
weird situation where one of his videos only got, you know, 33K in uh, this long a time period. I have every reason to believe that we're two, um, two weeks away from the election. Do you think I'm crazy here? I mean, tell me, also for me, because, like, I thought it might be region-based. I yeah. checked for me, same thing, same, same exact thing. It's pretty much like back when Crowder, when he was being shadow banned. In different regions, but, different videos would be shadow banned. But, uh, but just, the, just just to make it clear to the audience here, uh, Vault is in the Middle East, so he's he's getting some of the, uh, the same Vault, results. Yeah. Now that would be, uh, oh, I mean, <laughs> there's no reason to. <laughs> you can't vote for Trump. <laughs> you know? No. But you know, I I think the idea that they did it across the board would make it look more like a mistake. But I, I can't believe they could screw up something this big with this kind of personality. And, it, you know, it, what, what'll cement this for me is that, well, uh, maybe he's just not popular anymore, like overnight. Uh, you, no, no, popularity fades. It doesn't just drop off. The thing that I don't get is, so with any sort of business, whether it's region-based or whatever, the, the places that have the most dense population, or, or in this case, views, Mm -hmm. De depending on how much it is versus other channels, I guess in this case, you should have people monitoring PewDiePie alone, given how big he is in and comparison how much money to everyone he else. In. Like much you would have, like at least it makes sense to me. You would have people literally just monitoring what he is doing or what is happening to his channel at any given time, especially with how many people they have employed. It doesn't make any sense well, how this goes unnoticed for this long. If it, if it is, quote-unquote, unintentional, which is hard to believe within itself. God forbid they would never say anything anyway. Who is it that did the, the, the Moore uh, memo that came out a couple years ago and Google punished them? Uh, you know, we had we had a situation where, you know, I, I guess Jack Dorsey's going to the Congress on, on, on tomorrow, I think. It's on Friday. Uh, yeah, tomorrow. Like, uh, we're, we're seeing um, the corporations, American corporations, suppressing things. Uh, especially in the run-up to this election. I just don't think it's that out of the realm of possibility. I, I don't. And it's the type of thing, well, is Pew's going to come out and say, uh, you know, that, that that vote for Trump even in a joking way? We can't have that. And somebody would say, um, I don't think so, but let's not take the chance. And if he does do it, it'll be suppressed. We can get it down to a quarter of the people that would normally see it. And that's that, that's yeah. the way they're looking at this. Yeah, I don't think I don't think they're directly planning for something like that, but he's just one of those people like you said, he's a wild card. They don't know what he's going to do and with 107 107 subscribers like they can't, they don't want to risk anything, I guess, right? Yeah. I I I I would think. And and keep in mind, we are speculating. Uh there, there this very well could be an error. But the most common excuse that these social media companies have after a situation like this this is error and error only, and it's error every single time, and it seems to be the same type of people that are the victim of the error. I, I can't imagine um, that, uh, I, 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 I don't see Joe Biden's uh, channel getting suppressed. I, I, I don't see that happening. I, I, I think they would do everything to make it fair for him, so to speak. All right, everybody, um, tell us what you think in the description box below. I don't want to hear anything about, oh, you're politicizing this. It's political. All right. So, yes, I, I'm more than willing to, to listen to your comments. I'm more than happy to hear if you think I'm berserk or crazy or got it wrong. Uh, but maybe you can tell me. Change my mind. Don't call me a moron because I think you're a moron. I Have mean, it comes down to, at the end of the day, we can debate on why, what's happening, what is happening, but we can all agree that PewDiePie does not get 30,000 views in one hour. Yeah, explain. Yeah, yeah, when you call me an idiot, riddle me that. Thank you. Have a good day.